Hey guys, it's Heather from Calva Plan, and in today's video, I am going to be talking about how we can stay connected and stay together even during these times of social distancing and how we can track that in our planner. So I have pulled out the new sticker book, Stronger Together, and a half sheet note, note page from a notebook. I am going to just letter at the top. You could also use stickers. Um, I'm going to letter the words... Staying staying connected at the top, and then I'm going to open up this sticker book, and I'm going to take this sticker that says we are stronger together. And I'm going to put it down here in the corner. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to get some boxes, some colorful boxes. And I want to place them kind of all over this page. Okay, and then here I may put like a little quote. Anyway, put a little sticker that says it will be all right. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any other. It might be cute to put like a little rainbow. Mm, I feel like that doesn't really fit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this out with things that I can do to stay connected to people, even though I'm staying at home and not necessarily seeing them in person. And then once I have these listed, then I can plan for these in my planner. So maybe I put a FaceTime. Coffee date. With a. friend. Okay. You could even have like a, a lunch date. Over FaceTime. With a friend. Girls night over a Zoom call because a Zoom call, multiple people could jump on together. And on a Zoom call, Zoom is actually free for I think up to 40 people and you get 40 minutes for free. So you could do a 40 minute call with your girlfriend to have a girls night, drink some wine, chit chat, catch up with each other, but do it all digitally. Um, you could make cards. and mail mail them to your friends you could have a ooh a planner planner session over zoom cuz again you can invite multiple people to a planner session over zoom um let's see Trying to think of some other things that you could do. 
Mm, you could do a book club. I'm actually am doing a Bible study book club on Facebook. We are starting it um, next week. The group is already there, so you can order your book. So if you're interested in doing an online Bible study to connect with each other and with God during this time, I'll put that information in the description. But we're basically doing a book club to connect with each other. Um, and then you could have, I'm going to say like a play date. over FaceTime. And I don't have kids, but I do have nieces and nephews. And so I'm thinking it could be fun to somehow, um, like maybe send them a game and I have the same game and we play the game over FaceTime or something like that, just to stay connected with people that you don't get to see during this time. Um, then you could also take these little boxes and plan some smaller things. So like, I highly suggest the Marco Polo app. If you don't have Marco Polo, um, it is a video app where you can see the people that you're talking to. So that's a really good way to connect with people um, I would say maybe send daily text to people. And just call. We, 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 we really don't call people anymore. But that's going to be important, I think, in the coming days. So now that I have this staying connected page kind of planned out, then I can pop this in my planner and when the time comes that maybe I'm feeling lonely or maybe every week I look at this and I plan one of these for every week, um, then I am ready to stay connected during this time where I don't get to see my friends and family as much. So I hope that this video gives you just some ideas on how to connect with people during this time that you may not have thought of. And I hope it gives you an idea for a page that you can make for your planner as well. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning. <laughs>